Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Lisa from Poster My Wall, and this is Learn with Poster My Wall. Today, we are very excited to have Emily Cardew with us. She is brand ambassador for Yodek, and Emily is going to demonstrate just how easy it is to create and run beautiful digital signage content with the powerful combination of Poster My Wall and Yodek's cloud-based digital signage platform. Welcome, Emily. Tell us a little bit about Yodek. Hi, so yeah, I'm Emily and I'm from Yodec. <clears throat> Sorry, I am the brand ambassador of Yodec and we are a cloud based digital signage company that will help you design, schedule and display your content affordably and professionally straight from the web. So the agenda for today is that first I'm going to customize the template for a digital menu board in poster my wall and then Emily is going to show you how to schedule run and edit your designs from inside the Yodec platform. Today's content applies to any business that's thinking about running digital signage or who is looking to improve their current digital signage. So this is uh, bars, restaurants, hospitality, um, industry, venues, retail, transportation, schools, offices, pretty much any business at all. So before we jump in, everyone, please let us know that you're here and where you're watching from. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Emily is in the UK. Rimshaw, who's going to be helping watch the comments, is in Lahore, Pakistan. Athena, who's also from Yodek, is in Athens, Greece. And Audrey, who's going to be working the comments too, is in the San Francisco Bay Area. So we have a truly international crowd today. So who would love to have super easy, super affordable way to create and run digital signage content for their business? I mean, create content and literally have it running in minutes. And we're not just talking about slideshows of static images, but real video content. You'd be able to promote your special events, advertise special offers, showcase targeted products, share customer testimonials, even show your menus and price lists, and be able to change what the content on those on the fly. Something like this. All right, so that is exactly what we are going to demonstrate today. And again, I'm gonna first take a poster my wall template and customize it. And then Emily is, and then I'll export my design to Yodek. And then Emily. And then I will show you how to quickly and easily connect your Yodek account to poster my wall to get your eye-catching displays up and running. So our goal for today is that by the end of the class, you'll be ready to create your own digital display content. And you'll understand just how simple it is to schedule and play that content with Yodek. Plus, if you stay to the end, we have some free bonus content. We've got some links from Poster My Wall templates that you can customize to create your own digital display content. And Yodek have an amazing offer. You can use Yodek digital signage software for free if you are using it with just one screen and we'll provide a link for that. All right, before we jump in, we have a few reminders. Please do put your questions in the comments. Um, Audrey and Rimshaw will be watching the comments. They'll be responding to you real time and um, they will forward anything that we think, you know, would be a good thing to ask live to, to us so that Emily and I can answer. And if we don't get to you live today, we will get back to you in the next couple of hours. So don't fret, we will answer all of your comments. Um, also, we're gonna ask that um, Emily and Athena take, take a quick visit at some point um, in the next 24 hours to read the comments attached to the event so that if you had any questions for them, they can answer you too. Uh, the video is gonna stay here on Facebook indefinitely. So if you wanna come back later and stop and start and, you know, work along with us, you can do that, or you can refer it to anyone you'd like. And please do share it with anybody who you think would benefit from this content. Ramshaw, do we have any shout outs or questions before we get started? Hi, um, yes, we have a number of people tuning in. We have Era from MS, we have um, Valentina from Montenegro, um, and we have John asking us, to specify exactly what Yodek is once more. So, so Yodek is a digital signage software company. So we, our software 
you, if you have a Yodec subscription, you can upload your media to Yodec and then get it displayed on your screens. Or you can also create layouts um, within Yodec or by connecting to uh, post on my wall. And Yodec then will display that content on your screens. You can also use the software to schedule your content so you can um, display certain things at certain times and your monitors will update automatically so you don't have to be plugging USB sticks in and out and having screen downtime. Um, yeah. All okay. right. Anything else from Chef? Uh, nope, that's it for now. Okay, so we will jump in. So I'm going to show you how to take any template, any static template, and turn it into something like this. You can see there's video here at the top, and we have a little animated sticker graphic, and then we've got copy that cycles down at the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to start with this template, and I'm going to start by clicking around to see what I've got. Okay, so there is a photo here. It is not a video. We've got some copy. We've got a graphic element to make the curve. We have a menu. We have copy here that has just two, two cycles. It's already set up for two cycles um, and a little Vespa. Also, you can use the tab key to uh, click around, but it's good to start and see what elements you've got. Now with Post to My Wall, you can customize absolutely anything on here. You can swap out images, photos, you can take things, you can make them larger, you can rotate them, you can change the fonts, right? You can, uh, can change the colors, just, just anything at all can be customized to your specs. Um, so I'm gonna use, and of course, if you decide you don't like what you do, you've got the re undo and redo keys up here at the top. So I'm gonna go back to my starting point. Um, so I showed you how you can play with the copy and the photos and things. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a logo. So I'm gonna delete where it says menu. And over here on the left where it says photo, this is where you would add photos. You can add your own photos. You can add stock photos, create a photo slideshow um, or get things from Facebook, Google Drive or Dropbox. I have mine on my desktop. So I'm gonna say add from photos. And you can see I've already uploaded some things, but if I hadn't uploaded it already, I can just click on upload photos. And it gives me, I can see my desktop. And then I see, I see my logo, I click on it, I click open. And it processes for a second. Oh, it wants me to click it again. There we go. And there's my logo and then I can drag it into place and I can make it a little larger or smaller or rotate it or anything else as we discussed. So that's how you bring in a logo. Now, if you want to just change the clip art or something, so I'm going to get rid of the little Vespa. I want something a little more exciting. So next is the elements menu. So we have all different kinds of shapes that you can put on to, into your designs and change the colors. There is clip art, there are stickers and you can add QR codes. So, so I'm going to add a sticker which is pretty much like animate, it's animated clip art. So, and I'm gonna say delivery. Oops. And I have some options. So there's a bike, there's a guy and a couple of guys on Vespa. So I'm gonna to switch to the red Vespa. So I don't know, it may be kind of small. Let me, let me zoom in a little you on that, but um, hopefully you can see him. He has got a, but he's got his uh, scarf blowing in the wind and you can see that the wheels are rolling and it, it's a fun. If you're gonna do digital signage, you ought to do animation, correct? Take advantage of the medium that you have. Now I'm gonna show you the menu tool. Now, the, if a menu is set up in our menu tool, it's great because it formats it for you. Um, you can see I click on it and I can change the fonts and the font sizes and the line heights and pretty much anything that I want to adjust. Uh, if you want to add items or change the, what the menu says, you click edit. 
and it'll bring up, you can see here, I have a menu of all the items I have ever put onto a menu. I can change my layout if I wanna get rid of the prices or have it you know, justified a different way, if I want it to be center justified. And here I have my three items. If I wanted to say, add the Caesar salad, all I have to do is click the box and you can see it's already added. And if you wanna change price, again, you just click to edit. You can change the descriptions, you can add information, you can change prices. $8, apply changes. And you can change the order of the items on the menu just by dragging. So I'm gonna put Caesar salad at the top. And what this does is, you know, if you wanna rotate specials or you run out of, you know, if you ran out of something, you could just click, click the button and it would, come off the menu and you could add something else. You can change a price, you can change a description. If, if there's something different on one of the, you know, there's a different ingredient or, or garnish or salad one day. So it makes it very easy to customize um, even on the fly. So you can see that the menu has now come back out and it's got the Caesar salad added. And just because I'm taking up a little more space, I'm gonna scroll down here to line height. And I'm gonna close that up just a little bit just to keep that together. So we have our menu. Next, I'm gonna show you a text slideshow. So I'm gonna click on free home delivery. And you can see this is already set up. And, it, and if you were gonna set that up from scratch, you would go under text, add slideshow, but this is already set up. So I've got that and I'll show you if you wanna add something else to that, you can add a text slide, a photo or a video. I'm gonna add more text. And you can see that text came out up here. So I'm gonna put times, say open daily, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And that is added. Now what I can do is I can look over here. I can, again, I can drag things if I wanna change the order that they show up in and I can change this right now. I have no delay, it starts right away. And then they're four seconds, four seconds, four seconds. I can change the number of seconds if I want. Um, you can also change fonts and things. And I'm gonna show, a uh, fun thing to do is to change the transition. I'm gonna show you right now it is something called fade if you watch it. You can see it fades in and out. But if you want to change that, you can change it to something like block or wipe. I'm gonna do wipe down and see what that looks like. So you can play around with those transitions and that's a way to really make your, your graphics very interesting. Now to change a stock photo, you just have to click replace and you'll get the library and you can either add your own photo or you can go through our stock photo inventory. I'm gonna add a slideshow, so I'm just gonna delete that photo go under media, you can see this is where you add your own video, add stock video, add a slideshow. It's where you could add audio to or stock audio. Do you wanna add sound? Uh, so stock videos, and I'm gonna say hamburger. Takes a second to load, and then I have some choices. I'm gonna pick this spinning hamburger, click add video. And it is set up. Now I just have to drag to get it to be the right size. Dragging the handles. And let's see. All right. So I need that a little bigger. Uh, Lisa? Yes. Uh, Valentina has a question. Um, she wants to know uh, once we make our um, digital content with Post from My Wall, um, what is the process after that? Do we simply put it up on Yodek? Um, we'll get to that in the end, but basically you can you can save your design and you can output it to you can add it to um, direct to Yodek. Um, you can put it on other digital signage platforms. You can out export it to to social media. You can pretty much do anything you want with it. Put it on your website. Um, so I'll show you that in the end. All right. So once you have your video up there, you can see now it's covered up that nice curve. Now every uh, every item in your poster my wall design is its own layer. So right now this is the top layer. So all I have to do is come over here on the right and click backward a couple of times. You can see the logo came forward, and there it is. And then maybe I'll turn it pull it a little bit over here so that now when we 
got the spinning burger right there. Now, if you want to add more slides, you can again come over here to the right, but you have to click on that video and then you can add a text, a photo, or another video. I'm going to add another video, stock video, and this time I want some French fries. Ah, okay, so this one's got panning. So I'm going to add that video. And I'm going to go back to our first video and I'm going to cut that down to three seconds. So now what we have is this, we've got our spinning burger, which transitions into this, the, uh, sorry, the scanning of all the burgers and the fries. If you want to add a photo in the middle or more, you know, you can keep adding videos or you can interject some text or some photos. I'm going to add a photo just to show you how that works. Again, a stock photo, hamburger. And I'm going to, okay, so we'll have the flames on the grill because you know it's fun to interject photos of the food with photos of the food being prepared and photos of people, you know, or videos of people enjoying the food. All right, so the, the photo is now in the third position. I'm going to drag it up to the middle. I've got three, three, and six. I'm going to push play. And you can see we've got that all together. Now, if you want to just trim your video at the end, again, as I, as I did, if you, you know, the video will start where it starts and then um, you say three seconds. So if it was a seven second video, it will cut off the last four seconds. If you want to add your own videos or, or maybe cut the middle of a video, like if we wanted to take this one and came down here, we could go to trim. So you, see, you can also trim from the beginning of the video. So if you made your own rough video clips, you could do it this way and you could trim the beginning and the end to the size that you want and um, just put them together and make a very professional looking video, just dragging the images into a poster my wall slideshow. So I'm gonna play it one more time. Again, we have our, we have our animation to sticker, we have our video and photo slideshow and we have our rotating copy. So I'm going to save when I'm done. And then now oh, they were asking what to do with the video. So if, if you weren't going to send it to digital signage, you can go to download and then you would you would download it as a video and you could use it anywhere you want. Or if you want to send it to Yodec or another platform, you could say, or actually you can post directly to social media, you can stick it in an email, you can embed it in a web page, publish it as a web page. Um, so if you're going to go to digital signage, you click to digital signage. Um, and we have a number of partners, but today we're showing Yodec. So you click on Yodec and then continue. And it will process. And Emily's going to take it from here. So I'm going to stop sharing. Perfect. So um, where's my... Sorry, one second. I'm just finding my um, screen. <laughs> Where's it gone? Here it is. Here it is. Okay, perfect. So once you are in Yodec, you've logged into your account. If you come over here to the widgets tab, uh, and then you go to add a new widget, you then find post on my wall just here, and you click use. The setup is very, very, very easy. First of all, just give it a name. Post on my wall, and then you can also give uh, an ex uh, a description if you need, but um, that's not optional. Um, and then here you have to paste your iframe link from post on my wall. So again, if we just, I'll quickly go over the steps. So once your design is finished, you click publish, digital signage, Yodec, continue. And then here is your uh, link. So you click copy. Then you go back to Yodec and paste the link here. So you can just save that from there, or we do have a few extra settings down here. Um, the default duration basically is the time in seconds that this widget will appear in a playlist if you put the widget in a playlist. Uh, but this is also something you can change from within the playlist. So it doesn't matter uh, really too much what you've set it to here. Um, play from and play until. Um, you can basically set um, a time and date that you want the widget to play from and until. So if this if this widget is only 
going to be displayed for a special for like a day or a week you can set a start date and a start time but after the start uh, I mean after the end date sorry uh, the widget will then expire and it won't be displayed anymore uh, but if you want to just keep the widget forever have the option to display it whenever you want keep always and forever ticked just so it never expires out of ease so then you click save and your widget will be ready um, and then you can either add it to a playlist, you can add it into a layout, or you can schedule it directly. So if you open a schedule and click add entry, go up here, you can just click media. Um, oops, and then you find find the widget, click OK. You then set start date and time again. Um, do you want it once? Do you want it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? So if, if this is a menu, for example, that you wanted to display Monday to Friday, you just come here, click daily, and then you could untick the weekend, click save. Uh, you then save your schedule and you push to players, make sure your monitor is scheduled, has the that schedule, and then it will be displayed. Um, if you can see my monitor behind me, can they see that? We can see it. Ah, perfect. So, so when you push to players and you have it on your monitor, uh, it will look something like this. And it's, it's that easy, that simple, super straightforward. Uh, and yeah, very, very quick process. Emily, so how, how, how long does it take to come up on Yodef once you, once you tell, you know, put it in the system? You like literally schedule, put it into a schedule or on, on whatever. Uh, and when, once you have saved the schedule, you click push to players up here and it will be on your screen within seconds. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you, Emily. That really did only take a few minutes. Uh, Rimshaw, do we have any questions for Emily? Uh, yes. Um, Richard would like to know um, if it's possible to add a trigger so that um, the display only comes up when um, something passes by it or you know, there's a motion sensor in the um, display that you can um, sort of add. Um, I think this is something we might, we are actually, um, so at the moment, I don't think that's possible, but we are working on this at the moment with Yodek. Um, this is something you'd probably want to email the tech guys about, um, you know, the um, programmers and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is something we're working on. So keep an eye out in the future. Um, this should be, should become available. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So I am going to share my screen again. All right, so we promised some free bonus content and uh, Audrey's gonna post that link for you in the, in the comments, but I am gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, basically, we have this whole page and you click this link and that's where you can get your special deal to get one screen free with Yodex. So you can start experimenting and trying and see if that's the solution for you. Got some information about Yodex and a bunch of links if you wanna contact them. And then, of course, a lot of templates that you can uh, that you can customize, and some other classes that are related to using the slideshow tool and uh, shooting your own videos to get you started. Plus, Poster My Wall Quick Start for anybody who's completely new to Poster My Wall and just needs a more basic walk through our features. Okay, and then we get to today's offer from us. Um, Audrey's going to stick the promo code in the chat, but this promo code today is display30. And with that, you get 30% off of a new subscription to Poster My Wall, either premium or premium plus. And this is also good for upgrades if you've been a pay as you go customer in the past. Um, this will expire on March 30th. And I don't know if everybody is aware, but we have uh, changed our pricing structure a little bit. If you are Poster My Wall premium, you can now not only download videos that you've made with your own video, but also the videos you make with the Storyblocks videos. Um, not, the, not the upgraded uh, Getty videos, but the Storyblocks ones. So now you're now basically you're getting what people used to upgrade to Premium Plus for, because um, we're gonna have some new features coming out for Premium Plus, but, but Premium just got better. Uh, so if you have Premium, I encourage you to play around with the video. So again, any more questions, please add them in the comments. And please share this with anybody that you think would be interested and come on back anytime and watch the replay.
Uh, Rimshai, any final co comments or questions before I close off? Uh, nope, that's about it. Okay, so Rimshaw, Audrey and I will be taking next week off, but we'll be back on March 30th at 1230 Eastern Daylight Time to demonstrate how to collaborate with colleagues and share your designs using Post or My Wall Teams. So that's it for today. Thank you again to Athena and Emily, and thank you, Rimshaw and Audrey. And thank all of thank you, you for joining us. We hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.